Vote for Ken Ivory for House District 39 so that your voice really matters. Running for re-election in House District 39 and I ask for your vote. We have critically important issues ahead of us. You know, just recently, Utah power producers informed the governor and legislative leaders that a recent EPA mandate, which imputes Utah's emissions to Colorado and Texas's emissions to Wisconsin, will require Utah power producers to shut down all coal-fired power plants by 2026. Coal-fired power still accounts for more than 70% of all power in Utah. It's simply impossible for any combination of wind, solar, and battery storage to come anywhere close to making up for this loss of power to our state. This is just one of many unilateral federal edicts to fully decarbonize our energy and transportation infrastructures. Under Biden's executive order 14008 issued the very first week he was in office, President Biden ordered a whole of government attack on all forms of fossil fuel production and use. In the first 18 months, 30 of the largest federal agencies have complete decarbonization plans. President Biden shut down the Keystone XL pipeline. He ended all new leasing for all oil and gas production on federally controlled lands and waters. He nearly doubled the royalties for all oil and gas production on federally controlled lands and waters. Meanwhile, President Biden's been traveling around the world to beg the likes of Venezuela and Saudi Arabia to produce more oil and gas. It was just a few years ago that the U.S. Government Accountability Office declared that there is more recoverable oil in Utah, Colorado, and Wyoming than the rest of the world combined, locked up in federally controlled lands. What's worse is the Biden administration orders America to fully decarbonize and move to wind, solar, and battery energy and transportation infrastructures. They're driving us right into the waiting arms of China. China controls around 75% of all wind, solar, and battery products and 90% of all mining and refining of the raw materials required to make wind, solar, and battery products. To make matters even worse, there's currently no viable substitute for the more than 6,000 products that are made from petroleum and fossil fuel byproducts, like medicines and medical equipment and fertilizers and plastics and lubricants and asphalt, paint and thousands of other products that make modern life healthy and productive and convenient. In fact, even wind, solar, and battery products cannot be made without petroleum and fossil fuel by byproducts. You saw the recent news where California Governor Gavin Newsom issued an executive order banning all gasoline-powered vehicles. And the very next day, the California energy regulators warned Californians not to charge their electric vehicles because they simply don't have enough power to charge them. Germany's invested more money than any country in Europe to decarbonize. They shut down their coal and gas-fired power plants, and they even shut down their non-CO2 emitting nuclear plants. Now that Vladimir Putin has cut off natural gas to Europe, Germany's scrambling to turn their old coal-fired power plants on. Energy prices throughout Europe are skyrocketing, and they're deeply concerned whether they can even survive the coming winter. The more the Biden administration mandates that we follow California and Europe, the higher our energy prices are going to continue to climb, and the less reliable our energy supplies will be. Do we really want to follow California and Germany over the decarbonization energy cliff? Energy is the master resource. Energy is the fuel for everything we do, for our economy, our health care, our food production, transportation, and everything that makes our modern life healthy, convenient, and prosperous. The Constitution does not delegate any authority over energy to the federal government. The Supreme Court has repeatedly affirmed that the power over health, safety, and welfare of the people is, quote, possessed by the states and not the federal government. Utah will not blindly follow the Biden administration down the dead-end road that California and Europe are traveling over this decarbonization cliff. I'm leading the charge on legislation and funding for litigation that secures Utah's energy that is affordable, reliable, dispatchable, and has a secure supply chain. If you'll give me your vote this election, I promise you we will not let the federal government shut the lights off in Utah. I'm Ken Ivory, and with your vote, I promise your voice matters.
Hello, my name is Ken Ivory, and I'm running to continue serving you in the Utah House. I'm passionate about helping you over matters that affect your life and your liberty and your pursuit of happiness. I ask for your vote to continue serving you in the Utah House.